Hey everyone, Corey here from the Techies, and today we're going to be making this kind of effect. We have a text stroke, and then we have some video showing up through the text. And then maybe you can throw in like a cool little zoom and it goes into the actual video. Something like that. Um, this is uh, just something fun I thought I'd do. I'm basically trying to figure out ways of creating our... T3 Productions logo incorporated into our newest project. That will be uploaded soon. So, if we go ahead and open this new composition here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to first add a new text. So, layer, new text. And the font that I'm using is ethnocentric. It's a really cool font. If you need help getting it or you want it, just put a comment below and I'll help you get access to that font. So, we have our text layer here, T3. We're going to go to uh, horizontal center and vertical center. This is the align panel. If you don't have this panel, it's under window and you just click align right there. All right, so now we have to create basically an outline of this T3 here. So what we do is we right click on our layer and select create masks from text. And what it's gonna do is create a mask of the text that we have there. So. Now we have to generate the stroke for this text to write it on essentially. So if we go click on T3 outlines, go to effect, uh, generate, and then stroke. Okay, so here's our way to basically draw on our outline here. So paint style, make sure you have that set to reveal original image. And you can see there that the T is gonna go ahead and be selected. So if you wanna have both of the text um, objects. So if you have two letters, it'd be two objects. Right on at the same time, you select all mask. And if you want to have them stroke sequentially, which means T goes ahead and animates in, and then three goes ahead and animates in, you go ahead and select stroke sequentially. But if you want it to come on at the same time, you uncheck that. And so now, whenever we animate this, what's going to happen is they're both going to write on at the same time. So the next thing we have to do is just animate the ins and outs. So if we select end, which we alt click on the stopwatch here to um, open up the tab below, we, we select our little stopwatch again that turns on a keyframe. And we're going to go ahead and start at zero and we're going to end at 100. So I just started at 10 frames maybe. Let's go out to 20 frames and uh, go back to 100. So if we go ahead and preview that, we have our T3 written on something like that. If it's a little bit fast, you can always drag out these keyframes. Another thing that's cool is you can add these easy ease keyframes, which you click on the keyframes, you hit F9, and everything comes out just a little bit smoother. Let's go ahead and preview that. Yeah, you see, you see at the end there, it kind of slows down and it gently finishes something like that. So really cool, really simple. So some other things you can um, play with is this brush size. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and turn that up because I want it to be a little bit thicker. Six might be too much. Let's go with uh, let's go with four. Yeah, that's that's better. Okay, but it's really up to you. Maybe maybe a three, three might be good. Yeah, th three is pretty good. I think three is pretty good. All right. So now that we have our text animated, all we have to do is drop in some video that we want to play. So I just have this shot of a pink sky. Honestly, if you just had it play on like that, that would be pretty cool. Um, huh. If you had it playing and then you would... Hmm, let me think. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and go with the original plan and maybe we can play around with it in a bit. So now what we want to do is we want to have, if we look at the first composition, we want basically the mask to be only playing through the T3. So the way we do that is we have to create an alpha uh, or a luma mat to T3. And so you click on your video and you click uh, track mat and you want a luma mat to T3. If you don't have this panel, all you have to do is hit toggle switches and modes and it'll bring up the um, animating mode. So here we go. Um, the text writes on and the video plays through. So the reason, uh, he, the, the last thing we can do is we can actually just move this 
um, video to start there. So it actually writes on first and then the video plays through. So something I was maybe thinking about doing is if we go back to no track mat and we have the we have the text play on here. What if when it's done, um, then we have the track mat turns on? Hmm. So we have this. Okay, anyways, I can't really think about what I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and leave it alone and just leave it to where we had it previously, which was something like this. Let's go ahead and RAM preview that, and then it turns on. You could also do, um, maybe it would be better if it kind of just fades in. So let's go T, hit T on the keyboard for opacity. Let's turn that on. Let's put this to zero. Let's say, I don't know, another 10 frames will go to 100%. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Maybe we could even slow that down a bit. Let's go uh, 20 frames, see how that looks. Text right on. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. So, guys, that's really simple to do using the stroke and some masks and some little bit of animation to create this really cool effect here. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Corey from the Techies.